Here's an example of what happened to Fantasy Harbor after the theme park failed twice. Land across from the park that sold for $2.5 million a few years ago is now priced at $400,000. But the agent listing the property says land prices are headed back up and Fantasy Harbor is making a comeback. I know of several businesses that have purchased uh, property over in that area, not because of the park, but because it's a good value with the traffic and the, the traffic that goes across the new bridge. The man in charge of redeveloping the former Waccamaw Pottery Mall next to the park says the area has a lot of promise, though bringing it back to life will take a few years. With its tie-in to Fantasy Harbor, I think it, it does have a, a chance, uh, you know, to become something pretty cool. Martin Durham says the infrastructure is still there, like the former Ice Castle Theater, to remake the park into something that could be very successful. It could be just a, you know, a center where there's food, restaurants, entertainment, shopping. Dirks Heidi says once the rides are gone, the property will be more marketable and a clean slate. If they ever legalize casino gambling, obviously it'd be a great spot for a uh, casino. Dirk Vader, who represents the former park's property owners, says they're preparing to launch the next phase of development, but he won't say what that is. In Horry County, Joel Allen, WPDE News Channel 15.